give me another thumbs up for it. Oh, they just straight straight gameplay already. Oh wait a minute. He just threw a but he he stick Wait, are we switching between Whoa We're switching between subclasses? Wait a minute. Yeah, and I was like, wait, we got the... I, forgot, I keep forgetting what name that grenade. Oh, crap. Hold we on. are going into the pale heart of the Traveler, and the Traveler has chosen you, the Guardian, to be its champion. It's empowering us with gifts that we've never really had before. One of the concept artists early on created this very evocative image of a Guardian with light armor and dark armor. I knew We're it. Like, we really need this in the final shape. This is the ultimate form of being a Guardian to wield light and darkness at the same time. Wow. We built Prismatic exactly to be that. And then snap. <laughs> hey. is the new subclass in the final shape where you can okay, combine I'm thinking my... certain class abilities from different damage types together. Getting light and dark and mastering it. No and one's we're making before, bills for this right now. The witness now. is manipulating the energies like this, but the witness is not a master of light and dark. You are. The guardian is. Players are. In prismatic, underneath your super bar, there's a light meter and a dark meter. As you deal damage with either light damage or dark damage, it fills the respective sides of the meter. Once both sides are full, you get this new level of power that we're calling transcendence. I love transcendence because you do these cool motions. For Warlocks, we have this cool like mystic pose. Hunters are going to do this cool like. The Titan when we're while you're transcendent, you get a new, unique. I get to use consecration that combines with both light and dark Chris, together. Stasis crystal, fire and ice combo. Titans, strand and arc. From the warlock, stasis and void together. Ooh, you have well, we the weapon damage that. bonus that stacks on top of other weapon damage bonuses. Your grenade. I'm trying to see how they got the buffs and debuffs now. Cast transcendence, so you can loop them together, one after the other. <laughs> That's oh, really exciting. Boy. That is so good. <laughs> We're kind of thinking about Prismatic as this advanced subclass mm -hmm. where you have yeah. more build crafting options, more potential combinations, more fragments than you normally get, more fragment slots to socket them than you normally get. That the is a build lot of combinations. Is gonna be... 2000... 300 no i'm just kidding I don't... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know i'm just the art director i think that prismatic feels like you are doing combinations you shouldn't be able to do it feels a yeah. little bit breaking i'm not gonna lie a, a little a little bit this game is never going to be born now you're gonna be like oh no what have i done i'm gonna be here all night <laughs> I I was just about to say that. Oh man. That looks illegal, man. Oh. 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 The champions. Yes. Bam. It's not just about the mastery of light and dark. It's not just about using multiple at the same time. It's about figuring out how they work in concert in really interesting ways. We're transcending That's, kind of the, th the bounds of light and darkness. There's all these subclasses that really resonate with people. And now you can finally combine those and make See, your own guardian feel very unique. And that's the new you. super. This like really opens up the doors for unexpected, like really wild stuff. I love um, being a hunter I don't even want to play the game how it is right now after this. And blowing them up. And then we're like, oh, wait, 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 what if you could slow enemies? You could throw out, you know, your shurikens, and then you blow them up as well. And it's like, okay. I didn't think I could do oh. those two things at the same time. And you're telling me I can do as much as I want? You can throw a withering blade melee and, like, bounce it between a bunch of people and get, like, three kills from one melee, and now your gunpowder gamble's, like, fully charged, right? And so, like, certain interactions, I, may not I think, get a lot no easier. No excuse why I can't do a raid now. sort of made the aspects a little bit, a little bit more permissive, a little bit, a little bit looser. 
Are we still limited though? That's what I want to know. I think when we play test, I'm probably gonna be running probably Warlock with oh, um they got the, the buffs lightning on surge left build the where you have right arcane now. needle for three melee charges and then you combine that with lightning surge. You can throw Bleak Watcher on top of that for just like a little extra crowd control, or you can throw oh a devour. Gosh. And so you're, you know, jumping in, lightning surging, that's killing a bunch of stuff. You're activating devour. That gives you infinite sustain effectively to stay in the fight. As a Titan, you can just quickly start using your arc abilities to jolt all the enemies around you and then kind of finish them off with like the cool blades of Strand. And it's so satisfying to see how fast you move. It's That's a very like crazy, fun, man. destructive build that you can just like destroy everything around you. And it, it, it's super fun. There was this moment for me and they where I was like, they were talking minute, about. I could send out Threadlings and have a bleak watcher I just, it just creates yes. these moments of oh, escalation shoot. within the combat and i think that's really exciting for me if you combine bleak watcher and feed the void you consume your grenade to throw your bleak watcher out there uh -huh. so it's you know locking stuff down with stasis doing crowd control you can clean that stuff up pretty easily with you know an arcane needle melee which has three and charges still got the those ability kills on. will activate devour which gives you more grenade energy every time devour activates so let's That's you loop your bleak watcher and so you can have like multiple bleak watchers out on the field freezing stuff everywhere you're just I'm like thinking about your the old gods with that melees out now and everything's dying and it's great <laughs> wow man embracing the challenge of like how do we make stuff that wasn't initially intended to like work together in the same build? Mm -hmm. Like, how do we twist them and warp them and push and pull this and that to make them work together? I'm excited about, you know, seeing uh, all the players like talk about their favorite combinations. I'm just looking forward to all the, the videos that people make of their own custom builds with their own exotics that they're pairing it up with to create like this, these amazing builds. It feels infinite to me. Uh, and I'm, I'm really excited about that. So, is this indeed initially the last subclass though? Just combining all the one, like light and darkness? Wow, you invisible! <laughs> I don't understand that when he throws that after he activates it. What is that? And the game, the game looks new. Like, it looks different. Maybe it's the quality. I don't know. But I like that they got the buffs like separated, or they got more room. Or maybe it's cooldowns on the right end, and just I don't know, man. In the final shape, we're going to be making these new exotic class items. Exotic these new exotic class, class items. items allow you to steal perks from other exotics and combine two perks together what? into one single exotic. The perks that come on them are actually random rolled. One thing that is going to be fun is to chase these perks Start and then find in. different combinations that work really well. I guess we're going to be unstoppable, huh? These I know exactly what items two items are all two about I want to combine. and making that feel good. So it's going to be all about enhancing your builds and your combination of light and darkness and achieving transcendence and what transcendence does. They also look so good. Mm. Mm. With these class items, we wanted them to stand out as special. They have these two perk columns that take aspects from other exotics. Exotic class items are going to let you do things that other classes consider their own, but now they're yours. I managed to get for my slow them down, blow them up hunter build, a roll on the exotic cloak that made it so powered melee kills caused enemies to ignite and also I could get an extra dodge charge so I could do an extra slow charge on enemies at the same time. We wanted to what? feel a little broken. I don't understand what he just said. It definitely felt like I had two exotics on my cloak, which is kind of the intention. 
We want that to feel like you're bending the rules a bit. <laughs> oh my. Yo, I love, I love that guy right there. He's the always having fun. For mix and matching in a way that I think is going to just be fun to see what combinations people find and like and what becomes the meta. Oh, with an arrow. Wow. They look amazing. They should use Tiku for that. They have visual effects that activate when you are transcendent. It just really ties into this overall theme. But on top of that, the gameplay with basically stealing exotic traits from other exotics and even from classes that aren't you adds this element of spice to them and the fact that it's random rolls you're going to want to keep looking for the right one yeah. for your builds. Oh, crap. Bungie, what have you done? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what's going on? Oh, they're... What are they called again? They're not Tormentors. They're Executioners, whatever, again. And the Thunderlord. Why does it look like the raid, though? Oh, it's probably a story mission. Oh, crap. My favorite super with Titan. Yup. It's destruction. What are they called? Oh, the these like... are this new oh. witness faction. A whole new enemy type. When you see these new characters, not only do they, they look no unique <laughs> and new, but you see like a through line that we've been building through the years that connects it all together. See, man, folks wrote it off too early when we got that, that showcase. I remember way back seeing when. the Tormentor make a big appearance last year. I need year. to chill. Well, that was just the first one. You have like this slate of new enemies with like the Tormentor and the Subjugators and the Weaver and the Attendant and the Grim and the Husk. This that is like, like a the hunter. embodiment of the witness in these new enemies. Uh. The Grim is probably one of my favorite new enemies that we have in Destiny. I think it's a poster child of the Dread in some ways. It's this bat with a gun. The gun bat, yes, exactly. A, a bat with a gun. <laughs> That's not fair. It does a scream and it swoops all around the battlefield. It's oh. a profile we've never seen in Destiny. You are facing now the first flying character with actual wings. Yeah. They can yeah, screech, we can... and if that hits you, it suppresses your abilities. It also slows you down. Too deep. Someone immediately appealed to the team and made us think, we have to do this. We have to make this character. The Husk Bonus. is this melee bruiser who has these incredibly dangerous looking blades and they're going to do these cool acrobatic attacks. They, mm. are, they have two of these very sharp melee weapons and they just come charging with those things and we'll just slice and dice. They oh, are less really dangerous, especially in groups. Oh. If you manage to kill the husk, you have to be careful because if you kill it the wrong way, what's inside of the husk, the geist is going to pop out and it's going to seek you out. A geist has killed me oh. more than I care to admit. Now I'm like looking everywhere every time I go into a fight and I'm like, is there a husk somewhere? Is there a husk somewhere? Because I'm targeting that first. <laughs> say if you kill it the wrong way, what's that mean? The weaver and the attendant are our strand and stasis scions that have been reshaped by the witness. We wanted to show like the influence of darkness powers on these characters. They have a stasis ability that can shoot at you that will freeze you. They have a strand ability that will pull you across the battlefield. The fact that you can get suspended and frozen in place just adds a big new dynamic to the fight. Goodness. The Weaver does something we've never done before. I'm about to say the only time it gets suspended is in PvP. Powerful strand wave. If that thing hits you, it's almost like a rubber band. It like pulls back. Oh. And like snaps and like pulls you towards that character. As one character doing that to you, yeah, oh, you just interrupted it. ability. As soon as there's multiple characters trying to pull you in different directions towards you, 
you have to approach it in a different way. I'm just gonna get stretched. <laughs> like, ah! We're really excited about everything that we've been doing for the final shape. It just feels like there's a really cool through line through all of this. It's mm. the culmination of the Guardian's journey over the last 10 years. We wanted to deliver something that's really like fun and exciting and engaging for players. It is amazing to see this initial inspiration carried all the way through to become a reality in the final shape. I want to see more. It's not there. That's not there. Okay. We need to go. Keep moving. Go. Is this a nightmare thing? The witness brought darkness into the traveler to turn their mm. threat into our annihilation. Oh no. Something's changed in the Guardian. New power. I can feel it. Oh. Crow is still Crow. I'm totally expecting Pro to be like, like he changes the key. Whoa, the Dreadlings came out after doing the Phoenix style. Oh my gosh, man. Having fire and strength come out of you? Take this barricade. Guardian. Be brave in dark places. Who's that? For we are the light of hope. Bop. Boom. No solar soul. Oh, maybe it's supposed to do precision hits on that hus thing on that body. make your own build. <laughs> so, I said, y'all, we had to show Cade at the end. It's April now. We literally have like two months, yo. I think we're ready. Oh, launch trailer for it. Okay. We are going to try that out after this. As the final shape approaches, and the forces of the Witness surge at the borders of the city, Lord Shax has been authorized by the Vanguard to place an arsenal of banned weapons from his personal collection back into circulation. Powerful gear for a powerful guardian. Good luck. I see, we've all, we've all seen this already. Be careful with that. Let's look dope. Weapons we oh, with micro missile? I didn't know that. We now see his desperate measures. Boom. I know you'll use this well. I didn't know it was gonna have micro missile. Fight well. Pushing back buys us only time, but the alternative is unthinkable. I can't it's reclusive. Void weapon. Magnificent. Nice. That'll be the one weapon I use with um, Gum, or Falcon. Or Whisper. It's time, Guardian. Crush them. Let them come. Show me Crassable what got. Whisper with the worm and outwards so effective. So the enemies of humanity want war, let's give them war. Say we'll be getting something else, right? Getting okay. creative. I love to see it. Super black shit. Oh, okay, I have to play for that. <laughs> Thank you for, for providing, Bungie. Just give us the new stuff now. Thanks. All right, we've seen that. My takeaway. Finally, an exotic um, class item for my for my people. 
All right, we switching now. Thanks for watching with me. Now let's dive into the game. Ah, uh, you like how I did that, didn't you? Uh. <laughs>